Hi, hi, Genki Call here with the Amethyst Acquisition World Event for the week of October 10th, 2022. But first, the lore. The first of the giants Baba Yaga told us about, the Amethyst Giants of Karakov, had been defeated. We now had some Amethyst Crystals, and I posed the question to Keg Hammer and Gem Hammer of what we should do with them. You know, this seems like the lore that is meant for after we complete the event, which did not used to be the case, so, hmm. All right. Ba -dum -ba. The Amethyst Giants were in Karakoth, as Baba Yaga predicted, but we would need to fight demons and warlocks to reach them, defeat foes in Karakoth to gain tomes and amethyst shards. The scoring is quite easy. You want to do the Amethyst Giant first. The Amethyst Giant will have a different icon. It will only show up every four battles. Be sure to take it every time it shows up because it gives the most points. It gives variable points, and uh, it will disappear if you don't take it. Then after that, it's rarity order, and Medea gives more points than Aborth. Bum, bum, bum. And I have many teams. All right. This is the first of the teams for people with no legendaries. And um, I have Stormcaller on the team code. I'm using Barbarian because the Twin Claws blows up green gems. Now, I'm aware that you may not have... Um, Twin Claws or Amethyst Band. If you have an explodey weapon, that would be very helpful. Um, and if you don't, uh, I'm not real sure what to tell you because you really need some mana generation. Um, you could use the Clockwork Knight and then use um, a direct damage um, weapon with your hero. But this is all really meant for the early levels where Peng Long is going to do damage to all an enemies. That was nice. So this is for doing those early levels quickly. When it's not fast anymore, don't do it anymore. Okay, Medea is worth more than Aborath. Um, now Paladin is here. Oh, Paladin. I'm going to show you Paladin on other teams, but Paladin is really amazing he does a ton of damage but i've got lots of teams to show you and i have another one with a uh, paladin right here so again i'm using barbarian i think the team code oh no i guess i changed the team code so gobsticker is another explodia weapon it explodes green gems i want that leaf storm um, archer is probably the best choice if you don't have it maxed out yet as far as leaf storm goes um Rock Shannon. Ah, uh, this he does this damage boosted by their current life with a two to one ratio. That means whatever their health is, half of that is going to be added on here. So say they had a the enemy had a hundred health, and this is meant for higher levels. But let's say they had a hundred health, half of that goes towards yours. So this would go from fifty to one hundred damage. Nice. Any stealthy. And he starts battles with 50% mana. So Rakshanan is going to be a good choice for later on. Maybe not so much early on. And Sir Gawain is here because he creates blue and brown gems. But most importantly, he summons. So if you get in trouble, you have something to replace stuff. And yeah, that's, that's my thinking on this team. And then I will sh I'm just grabbing the next team code. The next two codes are similar, but not exactly the same. Just some different kinds of builds. So the life here is 22. It's only going to add 11 to this, but it totally doesn't matter at this point. So this isn't going to be as fast. Um, and if you don't have an explodey weapon, yeah. Um, Anyway, if you decide to change this team, all is well, but be sure that um, you might want to move Sir Gawain up some, maybe to the second slot so we can get mana more quickly, and make sure that you have something that uses blue and something that uses brown on the team. Uh, we're going to do this again. Now look at this at Paladin. Look at this boost. Oh, that's so nice. That boost is just amazing. So... Yeah, let's see how this goes. I, I don't know how this is going to go. Oh, it filled, filled up Rakshan, and it's all good. And obviously slower, but 
um, Peng Long is not going to last for very long um, unless you've got some medals on board. So, all right. Next up. Oh, I already grabbed it. And two more teams for people with no legendaries. We've got, again, an explodey weapon, two paladins, and the Sapphire Knight who's going to give armor to all allies. And the paladin's spell is boosted by his armor, so that should be super, super helpful. Hold on. Alright, and I don't remember if I mentioned, but the Sapphire Knight is going to give armor to all allies, so that's going to boost paladin's spell very nicely. You can use something... If you have something for mana gen, it's going to help. If you have an explodey weapon, if you don't, uh, maybe use Stormcaller class. I put Elementalist class on here for safety reasons. But it is up to you what you decide to use, of course. <sighs> Alright, so... The boost, oh, yeah, super nice. All right, here we go. Just get some extra mana here, and then I can just one-shot each one of these. Here we go, one. There we go, two. And the next team is variation on this. It's just a different way of doing things. Manage paste. So in t instead of using the Sapphire Knight to boost armor. We have the Golden Cog to boost armor, but it will only boost one. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. So you can only boost one ally with this, but the Clockwork Knight is going to be up here creating armor for himself. Now that's not going to help out with the Paladin spell, but it will get some um, skull damage reduction in there. He just tanks up and then he creates yellow. So if you don't have an exploding weapon, you can still have plenty of yellow for your team. And I chose a double yellow banner because people that are really low level aren't going to have access to the underworld yet. But of course, you can put something more appropriate here if you like. And again, with the elementalist, which I'm going to change because I have it maxed out. All right. If I can remember, I'll change it. <laughs> Oh, I want my two experience points for the class. Oh, that was nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of him because we need to. She is a summoner, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of her as well. Hello. As well. What is going on? I can't click in the right place. All right, so the boost right now is plus 110, and then I'm going to cast this. And for me, that takes it up to plus 220. Oh, let go! Ah, Paladin, you rock. All right, let's, this is going to be a random color. It could help, might not. Eh, not a whole lot, but, you know, it was enough. Let's do that again. As you know, we're tanking. We're tanking up here. <laughs> Should maybe just grab some green mana while I have a chance. Urgh. All right. Okie dokie, Aborath is going to um, just heal himself. I'm going to get rid of the thing in Bobber Doohickey there. And, you know, early on you could just put Peng Long in here. Even though there's a mana block, um, just to make things go more quickly for the early levels if you don't really... Oops. <laughs> I say oops. Let's try this again. Eh. It, it's not going great for my example. I mean, the Clockwork Knight can be pretty awesome, but look at his, his armor's up nicely. <laughs> That's something, right? Bleh. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, fine. Oh, you're making a bad example here. All right. Um, I just want some green ar green. <laughs> just give me some green mana. Thank you. There. There we go. All right. So, those are the no legendary teams. And then I've got a couple with legendaries, and then I have several with um, 
with mythics because I was having fun and it didn't want to stop. Okay, Amethyst Giant. See this symbol? Take it every time. Edit. Manage. Paste. ba -da! Changing the glass. Don't look. Don't look. Alright, we are going to do... Nope, not that one. I need one that I haven't maxed out. Please, that would be this one. Okay, so this time I'm using... Um... I'm using King Mikhail only as mana gen. You could always put two King Mikhails in here, but King Mikhail does damage to all enemies and he um, explodes a row. And so, you know, that that's not ideal, but it will work. And why do I have a minus brown on that? What was I thinking? Plus yellow. Let's try minus red and see what we've got. Not blue. Okay, fine. Let's try minus blue. Uh, yellow and green, that works for me. All right, that is better. <laughs> Let me just fix my team code, doggone it. I hate it when I do that. An oversight, but that is why it's good that I review all of these before I post them. And I'll grab the next team code while I'm at it. Du -dum -dum -dum. Copy. All right. Let's go ahead and take this in, see how it works. I haven't tried this. Tried a couple of the Mythic teams because they were fun, so. Okie dokie. Dancing Daggers does damage to all enemies. It is the uh, class weapon for, what is the one for Drifting Sands? Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember, sorry, but it does damage to all enemies, damage to all enemies, damage to all enemies. You just have to hope that you get enough mana for King Mikhail to keep them with um, some mana for the whole team. Now, um, High Priestess Chaska here creates a light storm at the start of every turn, so you can use any class with this. It doesn't matter. So. I will show you Managen, Explodero, we'll do one with lots of purple. <laughs> and he didn't fill himself back up, but there is an option there for you. And then next up, I think I already copied this, another still using Dancing Daggers, uh, but this time with some good mana generation, this time with the Dancing Daggers, Divinia, King Mikhail, and High Priestess Chazka. Of course, the Paladin is going to rock this event, but, um, you know, you can mix and match things that you may have seen in the teams and create your own teams off of what I have posted. Just whatever feels best to you uh, as far as this stuff goes. Really wishing that it was boosting skulls this week because there's some there are some good um, skull spammers. Oh, all that yellow coming down. Whee! I do have one metal equipped right now. One metal and two metals of Nysha, so that is boosting what I'm doing here as well. Next team. Let's see, did I copy it? No, I did not. So the first team with, um, with Mythics is actually a skull spamming team. <laughs> And I'm using Slayer class because I have it maxed out. That's triple skull damage um, to burning enemies. And we've got Infernus here. We've got Sir Quentin Hadley that's going to give a 50% mana start to all knights. Am I using knight class? No, because I want to have that... Um, I want to have that fire blade and rage combo and there are other fire blade classes you could use to slayer is the most efficient but and rage plus triple skull damage mm, mighty nice and furnace of course is going to burn all enemies on four plus gem matches so i'm count i'm banking on slayer to get me through this of course paladin is here because hey paladin awesome so, uh, i already went over sir quentin hadley but this is the one that creates the skulls for me as well as gets me some more yellow mana and gob sticker to explode things. Explode things get me lots of mana. I have not tried out this team, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, 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 uh. Paladin right off the bat is ready to go, so... Here. I did not have the um, Enrage on board because... That's <laughs> so nice. 
um, didn't have Enrage on board because I haven't gotten a match for it yet. So let's see if I can get one here. Purple to yellow, green to skulls. There's no purple. There's purple. There's not enough green. Bleh. Boo. Boo hiss. Uh, take red. I'm going to show this team until I get to show you how Slayer works with this because it's so nice. All right. This is splash damage, so if they're touching each other, it'll do damage to more than one enemy. But that didn't work out so well, so let's show another one. We'll do a Boreth this time. And grabbing the next team code while that is loading. Alright, match four. Everything burn. Burn, baby, burn. Thank you. Um, Yeah, I'd rather grab red. Either way... There's no reason to match yellow or um, brown because this will be full next term regardless. So I'm just going to match red. Okay. Purple to skull. Oh, uh, no. Purple to yellow. Wait. Hold on. Purple to yellow. Green to skulls. I have match four. Watch this. This is going to be awesome. Enrage. Already on board. And boom. <laughs> That's awesome. How did the final enemy die, though? How? What killed the final enemy? This doesn't have... Hold on. This this doesn't have the assassin trait. How did the final enemy... Oh, never mind. I know how. I know how, because um, Sir Quentin Hadley does damage to two random enemies. That's why. I remember now. I was losing my mind. All right, next team. Next team. High Priestess Chazka. Using War Priest because it makes my hero a human. Let me show you the upgrades I've got here on this. So, I was thinking... Uh, well, you know, you could do Dawn's Aura, but there's no reason to because of High Priestess Chazka. Um, this is why... I guess. Wait, why Why am I even using War Priest? I'm back. Alright, Chazka for the storm and damage to all enemies. Gobsticker to blow things up and get lots of mana for the team. Use whatever class you want. I need to level up War Priest. I've almost got it fully leveled, but I'm going to change it to Barbarian. <laughs> and uh, Guard's Avatar is going to absolutely slay, literally, in this event. And, of course, boosting his armor is going to be good. You can use Golden Cog, but why use Golden Cog when you can use Holy Saint Astra? Who's going to give life and armor to all allies, create a light storm, and enchant all humans. So, I mean, if High Priestess Chazka dies, then you still have a light storm. Um, also, yes, War Priest, because um, it makes the... <sighs> makes the hero a human to be enchanted by Holy Saint Astra. That's why I chose it. <sighs> there are other classes that also, um, like Plague Lord also makes you a human, but I wanted to use this one because it boosts yellow. Uh, 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 uh. Reduce damage from skulls. 50% chance to stun a random enemy at the start of my turn. Very, very nice as well. Uh, 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 let's see, I need some mana. I uh, would rather have some blue, but this will do. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Guard's Avatar. Plus 75 damage to each enemy. Ah. <laughs> and once you boost his armor, it's going to be even more. Now, the next team... Um, yeah, it's the same kind of deal. Now, I've never used the Doom Focus before. I thought, hey, this is a good chance to, you know, try that. So we've got Divinia for Mana Gen. We've got the Doom Focus that's going to create red gems, which will be great for this team. Gives armor to all yellow allies. That's the whole team. And, of course, if you actually have it leveled, it will do even more. Um, guard's avatar and then Ishtar creates a bunch of yellow gems. You can use a second guard's avatar here if you have one. So, um, sun spear class for lots of red for Divinia to blow up is my train of thought here. 
I have it maxed out and I'm going to use it anyway because then I can show you how well it works. I'm assuming it's going to work well. All right, and let me see. I'll take some red. We'll blow things up, get lots more red. Kapow! <laughs> really like to see this is going to add yeah armor to all allies which is nice but we're just going to go ahead and cast that Mwahaha. this this has been a really really long long video and there are still two more teams to show you so i'm just going to go ahead and move along and show you the next ones so uh archduke is going to be worth more then a legendary next team true damage we've got the gobsticker for mana generation um there is not a sorry there's not an explodey weapon that is yellow and brown it doesn't exist otherwise i would use yellow and brown so since i can't gobsticker it is now uriali is going to do true damage to all enemies and then this guy does true damage and um, he could possibly get a little extra mana, and then she also does true damage. So I don't know how well this team will work, but at least for a while it's going to rock. I don't know how, lo how well it's going to do later on is what I'm trying to say. But it is another option um, if you don't have Astral Mother, you can use whatever you want. I don't know. My brains um, are a little fried, so... Uh, that is the wrong. Like I said, my brains are a little fried. Last team. Finally, the last team. I just keep talking and talking. <laughs> Pace team. Last team. We got dragons. All dragons. All dragons. Let's see what kind of bonuses I'm going to get off of this. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I get, I get a few. I get a few. That's pretty nice. So I'm using dragon guard. I should have this with firestorm. Oh, I don't. Let's fix that. Fireblade, too. Ooh. Ah, Fireblade. So, if Huang Long ends up getting killed, then you still have Fireblade to fall back on. Except there's nothing to burn the team, so Fireblade is still awesome. Alright. Saving the team code. Alright, let's take this in. So, Huang Long does damage to all enemies and has individual chances to get all of these additional things as well or any or some of these um and three magic to all dragon allies when matching four plus gems 70 percent skull damage reduction so every time you match four these purple numbers for every troop are going up and up and up we've got the flammifer that's going to create a bunch of red gems we've got divinia who's going to blow up red gems and ishtara who's going to create a bunch of yellow gems and do damage to all allies i think this will be fun i think it'll be fun we'll see <laughs> blow things up kapow <laughs> and let's see what Huang Long does. Yeah, I mean, not as effective as Guard's Avatar, but still, something different. And if you don't have Guard's Avatar, of course, this is going to be super helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and finish him off. Nice. All right, those are the teams I have put together. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and at the very least that I inspired a team for you. Let me know your favorites down below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.